Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to your monthly horoscope forecast for December. This is going to cover love and wealth. And I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a personal read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkers.com, or check out the description box below. Also, if you guys are a fan of the mysteries or unsolved true crime stories, you may want to check out my second channel. JWZ Mysteries. All the information is in the description box below. I also want to thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. Um, one of my videos actually made it to over 100,000. So thank you so much for all the views. I really appreciate it, guys. Also, a couple cards wanted to fall out for you guys. And we have the Magician card that want to come out first, okay? Magician card talks about manifesting something, okay? Something about you having the ideal situation. You have all the tools that you need. Something about your situation that you were heartbroken about, the Three of Swords, or sad about with the Three, three of Swords energy. Something's going to come together in a creative way with the Three of Pentacles energy. Something you may have invested time with. Just give it time. It's going to grow. It's going to come together here. So however that resonates for you guys, uh, that was the message Spirit wanted you to know. So we're first going to talk about love and then wealth. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way? Hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. What's going to happen my Scorpio's romantic love life? Give me nine cards for my Scorpio's romantic love life. Give me three cards for the extra cards I need for Scorpio's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Scorpio's career and finance for the month of December. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, Scorpios, let's take a look at this. All right, so we first start off with some good news coming in for you guys. So we're going to have to see what that's about in a minute. Wow, this is going to be a good start of the, the, the first half of December for you guys. We got the Eight of Cups for the middle of December. Let's keep going here. Okay. And then we also got that Three of Pentacles card that wants to come out again. You guys were definitely meant to see that. So... It looks to me like your influence here in your romantic love life is finally ending a tough cycle. And that definitely seems to be the case for the month of December. The month of December seems like it's bringing a lot of major changes. And you guys are no exception here with the Ten of Swords. Who's coming towards you? Uh-oh. Who's coming towards you? This person that's coming towards you, you've known from before. Okay, Three, uh, Six of Cups energy. I'm not saying you dated this person. We're going to find out, though. But um, it is somebody that you are aware of already, okay? Somebody is old memories of the past, something to do with the past there. And your advice is the full card energy. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we see, I want to hold on to you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. I've been patient. I'm ready to communicate, speak my truth. I have strong desires, willpower because I have love for you, Ace of Cups energy, and I have new perspective of this situation. And I want some potential love connection here. It's been hidden or something about this has been secret, but someone's about to break free from that. Okay, so first of all, let's find out why the Ten of Swords is here for your influence in your romantic love life, Scorpio. Why is the Ten of Swords here for Scorpio, for the influence of their romantic love life? Show me cards to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Let's find out here, Scorpio. So there's something to do with travel far away. Okay, we got the world card energy. Somebody who had walked away physically or mentally, maybe did some travel. Somebody, there was some kind of completion or something needs to be completed with this person who had walked away physically or mentally. There was some indecisions about it. Definitely was somebody that you were in love with and been thinking about. It looks like there's an action being taken here that's going to bring a victory. Whoa, what the heck? Okay. All right, let's get more information here. What's up with the Six of Cups energy? And you know, it's interesting because a lot of signs are getting good, good stuff coming in around the first part of December. That's interesting. And you guys also are the same. Okay, so that's why I always tell you guys to check your sun, moon, rising sign for more information. Okay, so it looks to me like 
this person is coming in through a celebration or a party or something here. It's like you're out, you're doing something, and then this person discovers you or you discover them. But let's get more information here. So what's up with this Six of Cups energy? This person's coming towards Scorpio. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. Okay, let's see. This is the person you've been patient on. This is a person you may feel like is your opposite, like you've been manifesting this person also, the magician card energy is coming out. This is a person that really does make you happy. There's been this lack of strength, courage, and confidence because of some kind of contract or commitment to confusions or because there's something legal and some confusions here. We see that Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy or a stable situation has been anxious. Now we see the angels bringing something into balance. Okay, let's get more information here, Scorpio. Okay, so we got some good news coming in, okay? And uh, there's some huge offer coming in that you're really gonna, you're really gonna really want. Actually, Nine of Cups energy shows me something that you want about. This, this situation has grown and you're getting good news and you're like, wow, something, I, I get the sense just because of the fact that this girl right there, she looks like, um, she is like, um, she's a flower, but she also has a water spout there. And then what's the next scene here, but a woman looking at something that's growing out of the soil. And then it's like, you got this kind of defiant energy, like, yeah, this is exactly what I want, okay? So you can see that there's this scene going on. It's like this really good news, this communication, and then like there's just an awareness that look what's happened. This has so much potential. And I can see it now. And this is what I want, Nine of Cups energy, okay? So there's an offer coming in. Uh, pentacles have to do with money, family, children, long-term. And then we got the Page of Pentacles showing potential opportunity. Good news, potential opportunity, an offer that you want. So you want this offer. Okay, so let's get more information here, Scorpio. What's going on my Scorpio's romantic love life? Give me nine cards for my Scorpio's romantic love life. Give me three cards for the extra cards I need for Scorpio's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for Scorpio's career and finance for the month of December. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so what do we got going on here? So we got a person card coming out. We have this hopeful energy. And we have a stuck energy. Okay. I get the sense that there's some complacency going on. Or because somebody stuck around for a little while, something has grown around the situation. Okay. This can be nurturing, supportive energy. This can be because I'm seeing in the sense of these particular cards, there's some kind of good news coming in. Now, you may be receiving the news from another person, okay, about this situation. So what I'm getting is that a friend may reach out, a sister may reach out, uh, someone may reach out to you to let you know that there's some good news here, that this, this person, they want to offer you something, and it's hopeful. And... Uh, and it's, it's grown into something here. And we see something that you want. So let's get more information. And it may be because there is another situation that's a bit stuck because of this person. It could be an extreme party that caused this to happen. Uh, so let me just give you an understanding of what I'm saying here, Scorpio. So what I get the sense of is maybe somebody is already possibly in a relationship Okay, uh, and that's not working out. And uh, this person now has awareness that, wow, you know what? Scorpio is the person I want to be with. And um, I realized that this situation for me is actually pretty stagnant. And you get good news about this offer towards something that you really wanted, Nine of Cups energy. But let's get more information. What's going to buy Scorpio's romance? Love life for the month of December. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. 
So family member. Okay, so it looks like, interesting, it looks like this communication may be coming through a family member, a sister, child. Um, so it's good news. It makes you happy and it's really hopeful because you're realizing there's potential here. And we see that there's concern because someone's stuck and they want you to know that this person really wants to be with you and they want to heal the connection. What the heck? Scorpio, you know I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. What's going on with this situation here, okay? Do you claim this? Well, tell me Tell me what's, what's the deal with this. Oh my goodness. So it looks like Eight of Cups, the middle of the month is saying, I'm avoiding the situation. I'm a lacking in the courage, strength, or confidence and I need to wait for the right time. There's a sigh of relief here. And we see something transactional. So there's a sigh of relief because there's something transactional about the situation and waiting for the right time for love and devotion. There seems to be some confusions, but we see this offer of love, Ace of Cups energy. And we see this person wants you to wait they want to be loved and devoted to you, and they want to make an effort. Okay, okay. All right, so we got the Three of Pentacles. There's a creative environment, a creative solution, okay, to spend some time together. There's a meeting that takes place. There's a conversation and a creative solution here because of stress and anxiety. Temperance is saying, be patient with me until things come into balance. It looks like they wanna give you a gift. It looks like you're gonna receive a gift here during this intimate time together. Or you're gonna be aware of this person's appreciation to heal the situation, or they're giving you a gift to heal the situation, but you're cautious about it. We see there is a, a relationship, a love connection here with a soulmate card, two of cups. And it could have been somebody who had ended a situation. Oh, they're ending the deceptions. They're ending the deceptions in the soulmate connection. But you're still cautious. You're just like, are you lying to me? This is a really strange reading for December. Okay, let me wrap my head around this. Okay. There is a family situation that causes some kind of confusion and stress. It makes you happy because there is no, you know, you find out about this love connection. There's still this defensive energy because of something that's healing about this. It's very healing. And you are aware this person wants to make an effort, but still there's some stuff about this situation that's a little bit hidden or deceptive in some ways. Like, I feel like there's still some things you kind of are kind of concerned because you're still like, feeling like there's still stuff that you don't know about. Or you're finding out that this person lied to you about the situation, or you're finding out about these lying and deceptions that really it wasn't what, what they were making it off to see. I feel, I kind of get the sense that, just let me just tell you what I feel here, my intuition, that this person may have ended this connection with you or ended the relationship with you. I'm not seeing you guys date or anything that you, you've known this person before, and um, uh, they may have ended or lied to you about the why they ended it, uh, to, to, to because they felt like it was gonna infringe upon their other situation, but then you found out through a family member that you're gonna find out through a family member that actually they really want to be with you, and they actually are just waiting for the opportunity to make that happen. What the heck kind of December read is this? Okay. All right. Um, this is a very strange reading. Let's look at the bottom of the deck. We see secrets. People missing you. Abrupt decision, an opportunity, a message comes in to bring things into balance because of uncertainty about where they stand with you. Communication about these obsessions and needing to make a decision because of regrets. I'm not being single and available to pursue. 
Okay, a person brings hope to you in a stuck situation and you have a sigh of relief. You're like, am I being foolish? Or somebody was, they're letting you know that someone was foolish about the situation. They wanted love and devotion. They want love and devotion with you and there's going to be a meeting, uh, a, a private time, and a gift because of an ending. A gift is given or uh, giving to the situation about this ending. Oh my goodness, okay. Let's bring it together. Good news, an offer, something that fulfills your desires. Somebody who had walked away physically or mentally now gains the courage, confidence, strength. It's something you've been waiting for. There's a creative solution here. There's a patient energy to bring things into balance and a soulmate connection, a love connection, a relationship here, two of cups energy, wanting to bring it all together. And it's interesting because these two look like twins. So I get the sense of like twin flame energy. What? Going through the numbers of this. Good news, potential, working effort to reach a creative solution, an opportunity, strength, courage, and confidence, Temperance says patience, fulfillment of your desires, something you've been waiting for with this soulmate connection, relationship. Okay, let's get more clarity on this, Scorpio. Okay, let's get more clarity. Very strange reading. Okay, so it looks like you're going to find out some information from a family member about this. Yeah, look at that. You gain knowledge about an apology. And you see there's other people somehow involved with this because you can see that right there in the card. You can feel it. That people are putting their two cents in here to give some kind of conclusion to this. And you get knowledge of an apology, a reconciliation. What? Okay. Let's see. Who's coming towards you? Six of Cups. Someone that you're really going to be celebrating about and someone you've been thinking about very deeply and someone that you've known before. Okay, your advice is full card energy. Take a risk, take a leap of faith. We see that there is, don't have self-doubt. Assert yourself and take charge of your destiny. Take a risk, don't have self-doubt, take charge, assert yourself, take charge of your destiny. Okay, let's get more uh, advice for you guys. Very strange reading. Very, very strange reading, Scorpio. You know I wanna hear from you guys in the comments below, okay? All right. I, I would say, I, I, do, I do feel like I, I had a very strange reading from you guys before, but I think this one's a little bit more stranger, actually. Okay. Um, okay. Can I have some advice for Scorpios, please, for their romantic love life for the month of December? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. I don't know why I'm surprised by this, Scorpio, because I know you guys are the sign, the eighth house, the secrets, surprises. You know, those, those things that come to the surface. Um, okay, so we see this engagement that you need to think about. Okay, so there's a meeting that's going to take place. Okay, so let's read this particular card. It's saying, today I make the conscious choice to engage with the world in an active way. I'll take a new route and talk to strangers. I will smell the flowers and pet the dogs and maybe walk around barefoot for a while. So it's saying that there's going to be some engagement with somebody you haven't engaged with before, which is probably that family member, and that they're saying that you should think about this, that good things come to those that wait. Okay, good things come. There are so many amazing gifts coming my way. I can't see them now because I respect the general convention of not peeking under the wrapping paper but they will show up when the time is right and that's when i remember how much fun it is to be surprised so you're about to be surprised 
So Spirit's like, be surprised, but be authentic to yourself. You've manifested this Scorpio. And you know nothing lasts forever, so be patient. Oh, wow. You're going to be able to fight for what you want when it comes to your abundance. Oh, my goodness, Scorpio. Do you see what it's saying? It's saying that there's going to be this engagement here. This, this, when it says engagement, it's saying that there's going to be some kind of meeting taking place, okay, where you're going to get information. And it's saying, give yourself some time to think about this because good things come to those away. You're about to get surprised. And because you are authentic to yourself, you've manifested something and you thought that this wasn't going to last. So there was, you thought there was impermanence around this, but they're saying, no, be patient. You're going to be able to fight for your abundance here. Congratulations. There was some kind of situation that you let go of and divine timing has now taken over and is saying it's time. And there's an ideal partnership coming in because you focus on self love and you didn't take things personally and you brought peace to your heart. Scorpio, you know, I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. Okay. So let's move into your current finance. I'm across my fingers. Okay. So we saw two of cups was the ending card. What did it say? It said ending of deceptions because of a soulmate connection of a relationship, a relationship there. I cannot wait to see your January reads. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we got Ace of Wands. You got a brand new potential opportunity here. Ace of Wands that's been growing and you're getting attention for it and you're giving yourself some time alone to kind of think about it that's that's the beginning of the month here you're kind of taking it all in yeah it's it's an opportunity you've been waiting on and you get some extra bonuses here okay and a sense of stability here with the house card energy now the middle of the month there may be some challenges that may come up here guys because we got the five of wands so that could represent competition or you're, you're going to have some kind of dispute here or issue here but i do think that you'll slow walk it and you'll figure it out you'll analyze your actions here and seven of pentacles shows me because you're going to be very strategic about your actions actually something will grow out of the situation in a good way okay you'll, you'll get the fruits of your labor there your intuition's telling you, so listen to your intuition in the middle of the month, that there could be some issues there. So some, some arguments, some fights, some disputes, competition. Listen to your intuition. Okay. We see it has to do with a reunion of someone from the past. Someone you've known before, something you've done before. So because you have knowledge of things that you've dealt with before, you're able to be very strategic in your actions. And because of this, you get lucky, okay? And you get some kind of growth here, seven of pentacles energy. Something is growing. Wow, by the end of the month, you're in a stable place with the four of wands energy. Ow, King of pentacles is coming out? Oh my goodness. You guys are definitely standing your ground and you're in a solid place with that four of wands and the, the king of pentacles. But somewhere along the way, guys, towards the end of the month, you kind of get feeling like you're trapped a little bit or stuck. I feel like possibly because you're like, all right, in order to stay on top of everything, you start to get to that place of like, I'm not getting a break. Okay, so let's see. There's a lot of restrictions and boundaries and scheduling here towards the end of the month. And you're kind of like, I need a break. I need to rest. And so there's this, it's regrets you didn't get more of a break or rest. Okay, I see what's going on. So... Try to find some more time, Scorpio, in the beginning and middle of the month to kind of give yourself a little bit more of a rest or a break because then by the end of the month, you're going to be in a very solid place. Yes, and you're going to get a lot of stuff done. You're going to be really, really in a solid, stable place, but then you're going to be like, why didn't I give myself time to take a break or a rest? So then you're going to feel kind of trapped in the situation and trapped in your thoughts around it. So just be careful about that, okay? Because you're going to be like, ah, oh, I have to stay on schedule. I got I to gotta get all this done. And then you're just going to be in that place of now I'm kind of trapped in this situation because I had to keep this stability and stable enough. And I got to make sure I take a leadership role around this. It's going to make you feel a little bit trapped around that. Okay, so there's a situation you've been waiting on. 
and you listened to your intuition, there was, you really restricted yourself, you really were on, you're really gonna stay on schedule this month. And because of this, you're gonna receive some extra things here, okay? Whether that be a bonus, whether that be a positive turn of events. There's some stuff coming up from the past or something you've dealt with before that you're gonna recover from. It's something around a house, a real estate situation, or just a just strong stability there. And it's lucky. But I do feel like you're kind of get to the point where you're just gonna, you're gonna get stuck in your thoughts. So be careful about that energy or feel like you're trapped a little bit, which is gonna make you feel a little bit regretful. So we see there's this commitment here you got. And you got this travel situation coming up, which is gonna cause some issues there. And this is what's gonna make you kind of like, why did I agree to this? And we see that you're getting a lot of attention here and we see that somebody really wants to be there with you, help you out. And it um, looks like you're gonna be dealing with quite a few people here with the, the conversation card. There's a surprise coming in for you guys, which is gonna change a lot for you. And it's towards something you really love. And you're very joyful about this, but there is some concerns about a loss of an obligation in your thoughts. So it seems like you're gonna get caught up in this situation that you're receiving a positive turn of events, you're getting a lot of attention, and you're very strategic in your actions, but there are gonna be some issues thoughts-wise, so pay attention to your thoughts or be careful about letting your thoughts get the best of you. I know that sometimes when I'm trying to do meditation and stuff, you know, and then I get so focused on other things that I gotta get done and stuff, let me just give you, um, give some time to yourself this month, Scorpio, okay? Try to get outside, try to meditate. Okay, keep yourself grounded. If you guys want to meditate, okay, what you can do to get those thoughts out of your mind, you can, first of all, take a shower and ask to clear out all these blockages, all these things in your mind, just know that's released, okay? That's one way. The other way is you can also put a notepad next to yourself when you do meditation and just write everything down, everything that comes up in your mind. And okay, all right, spirit, I will deal with this later. I don't wanna deal with this right now. You can also play very relaxing, uh, high vibrational music, whatever your choice is, whatever you find very happy and comforting to you. Um, there's several ways to do this, but Scorpio, really, really, uh, keep in mind that you just, you're just gonna get in your thoughts about competition and, and, and disputes here and trying to be very strategic about staying on schedule and stuff like that, you're gonna drive yourself crazy, okay? So just be careful about that energy this month. But it does look like solid, solidly, you're going to be in a solid place. Like financially, you're getting your stability, your stableness up, you're fighting for what you want here. You're fighting for the stability and stableness and going down in a layer on this you, you are taking actions towards things that you love. You're getting clarity. You're having a victory here, Ace of Swords energy. You are definitely going for what you love here with the King of Cups energy. But we see with the swords, swords have to do with thoughts and communication. So we see the Five of Swords is coming in. There's a bit of defeated energy. Why? What did I say? The Ten of Wands is coming out, showing you that you're a little bit overburdened, overworked and taking on more responsibility, taking on more than you should, Scorpio. You're trying to take on some more things and more projects and get more things done. So just be careful about that energy, okay? All right, my beautiful Scorpios. I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys another day or two. Yes, you had a very strange reading. So you know, I read my comments. I want to hear from you guys in the comments below, okay? Yes, I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. Financially, that was very straightforward. And I'm showing me that definitely you're going to be very strategic about taking your power back and, and making yourself very stable in the month of December. You're going to stay on schedule, but just be careful about being overburdened. But uh, the romance part, uh, it was very strange. So definitely want to hear from you guys in the comments below. All right. And um, I love you guys so much and I will see you guys soon.